Hello Divine Feminines, thanks so much for tuning in or anyone who's watching. We are going to get a general reading in for what the Divine Masculine wants to tell the, the, the Divine Feminine, okay? So again, it's a general reading. If you want to book a personal reading, please follow the description box below. You'll see my email, okay, because it may not resonate with every zodiac sign here i was shuffling and the card that wanted to come out was the knight of cups i want to show you that you know i don't make it up i'll put it back in the deck um okay but i do want to say that um because of that card i want to say that the divine masculine if he's a cancer pisces scorpio he's looking at on his way to offering love to you he's looking at it within like a few days up until now i should have showed you but um, oh, no, we have the Two of Cups at the top of the deck. But the, the Knight of Cups showed his hand kind of like right here. You know what I mean? Like, okay, like I'm ready. Like, okay, I'm ready to go. So he's he's on his way to offering some love or telling you that he loves you and he's going to give you everything that he has, okay? So let's see what we got. What does the Divine Masculine want to tell the Divine Feminine in this current energy? If you want to book a personal reading, we know what to do. Um... Thanks for the likes, comments, and subscribes. Cards are pre-shuffled. Let's go ahead and get right into it. What does he want to tell you? What does spirit want to tell us from the Divine Masculine's mouth? Ready? Divine Masculine wants to say, okay, Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and who else is Divine Masculine do we have here? The temperance, okay. <laughs> so, all right, let's see what the divine masculine wants to tell the divine feminine in this current energy. I think this has to do with his work, all right? But he does want to say, first of all, with this air energy, <sighs> Someone may feel like he's not doing anything. Some some of us may feel like we're getting restless, okay? But I want you to know that he's telling you that he is meditating. He's he, There's a lot that he's thinking about. There's a lot that's going on in his life. This card talks about him, this person, like being at home. If you see the portrait of a woman and a child or, you know, his family being... Um, a major um, reason to why he hasn't made a move yet. This card talks about meditation. So when you need to relax, it's because you're getting away from all the hustle and bustle, all of your, you know, sometimes, you know, all the worries and, and responsibilities that you have in life, like his family, and you just need to take some time out for yourself, okay? But this talks about not making a decision and either moving or staying, retreating, leaving, right? So, but, he, you know, he wants you to know that he hasn't made a decision yet to leave, but he's thinking about you and he's thinking about, you know, if he does, what his plans are going to be, how you guys are going to make this happen. He's taking into consideration all that he's built in his life without you, okay? But he wants you to know that he is not just sitting down doing nothing, that he takes this time where he gets to relax and meditate and, and come up with a plan very seriously. So it's talking about patience. Also, we have the temperance here. He wants you to know to have patience, okay, because he's trying. He's trying to think of the best plan and best solution. He has loved ones, at you know, um, in this equation. Eight of Cups, he wants you to know that he's going to end up making a decision to leave, to leave all that he has built behind over the years, the months, you know. Okay, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, you know, your divine masculine, if he's an air sign as well, is thinking about leaving. Okay, he's going to be leaving, and especially if he's married, especially if there's kids involved, you know, there's always um, an option, you know, for joining families. There's always an option for being a part of your life. You know, Divine Feminine, I'm sure you're not you're not um, down on being a, a stepmother or anything like that, but he knows that he wants love. He wants passion, and where there once was love, where there once was passion with his karmic partner, they could be a water sign as well. There's no more. Okay, um, he's thinking about an air sign, okay, and he's walking away from a water sign, okay, or he's thinking about leaving an air sign and walking towards a water sign, you know, take that how it applies, okay. So, but um, he, I think he also wants you to know how hard it is, okay, because you don't understand, this is love. I mean, it's so bittersweet, especially when it comes up for, like, the Divine Feminine. It's like, you know, when we're talking about our Divine Masculine, it's like we don't want to walk away from all that we've put in, you know, work and love and effort to into. You know, this is years of commitment and love and, 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 and um, 
routine. You know, this is your grounding in life. Life is all, all we have in life is what we make, is what we do. And this is what he's done for half or better part of his life. And he's having to walk away from it. Sometimes I think, you know, especially if it's kids and it's family, which talks about, yeah, I mean, that just ain't, you know, nights of, nights of pleasure and renewing vows. That's, that's everything. That's friends, that's family that he's going to have to turn his back on even if, you know, for a moment to come to you. So he wants you to know, like, be patient. I think that's the main thing that we're talking about here. Be patient because he's going to do it. And he wants to make sure that success comes out of it. Now we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, you know, an air sign or a water sign could be leaving their karmic partner to come to you, Divine Feminine, especially if they're in a fire sign. They're determined to make this decision. They're determined to walk away. They know that love will be there. They know that some of their friends will still be there but that they have to stop living in limbo and repeating cycles that they need to move forward they need to move on because if it's like if they're still here you know adding to this just pile of whatever hopes and dreams they're not moving forward with life you know and they've been here for so long is why it keeps piling up and piling up there's still a void so he's needing to go and search for how to fill that void search leave you know some of us get so scared with moving with the words moving on and letting go but it's like if you don't you're just here looking around face to face everybody becomes more and more still it's when you leave that you hear the fireworks and all the music but it's like that's your doubts that's your insecurity that's sadness that's you know, um, that's doubting, that's being in denial. You know that you have to walk away. This card talks about being compelled to walk away. So you need to do this. You need to have the discipline. And he knows that. The divine, fem the divine masculine wants to tell you that he knows that he has to walk away. And it's not just because he loves you. It's not just because we're meant to be together. But it's, o it's obvious that this is no longer serving me. It's obvious that the people and the places that I've been trying to hang on to are not serving me. It's, it, they're not serving me because they're just there. I'm not learning anything. I'm not moving forward. I am literally in limbo. And so it's like when you're fed up of something, you just, you have to leave. You have to go, you know. Um, so, and that means he's leaving quite a lot. He's leaving a lot behind. Um, mainly family and um, abundance, okay. It's routine. Four of Wands, again, back to the fire energy. So determined to make, um, to, to, to have an accomplishment. Determined to walk right into the gates of success. Determined to have his family and, every he, and everyone he walked away from welcome him and you back. Determined, you know what I mean? And ambitious and passionate in love with his new decision and his newfound success. He's been waiting so long to walk through this, you know, um, what do we want to call it? This arch, you know, it's like you finally made it to the finish line kind of thing. But this is still a small success. Four of Wands is homecoming. You know, everyone cheering you on. You know, you could be walking into the gates or this could be you welcoming other people. But there's going to be a success when you're walking away um, in passion and love. So once he walks away from one thing that maybe some of us feel guilty about making him walk away from or feeling some of us feel guilty about, um, knowing that he has to leave love to come find love. I know we just feel guilty about it, but there's a success here that's going to happen. Abundance, love, happiness, friends, family are still going to come to you because this is a divine journey. And what that means is abundance comes to you regardless. You're not going to leave one place and find that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. This tells you that the grass is going to be greener on the other side. This tells you that you may even walk through this and see no grass. You just It's up to you to build it. Remember, it's a smaller success, but it's a success nonetheless from what you left. Okay, Some of, some of them are, are trying to tell you that they're scared of turning their back on people they love, You know, people they've known for their whole lives, even longer than you, people they have relationships with, that they've been having physical relationships with, friends and stuff. They're, they're scared of turning their back on them, and they don't know that the grass will be greener on the other side. They just don't know. But this says that spirits says that because it's a divine journey you will be welcomed you will be and even if people aren't on the other side praising you guys you will feel it you know it's nothing to like it's one thing to like the parents are sweet and everything but you feel empty inside you know like here the, the parents the friends everything is sweet but you feel empty inside so this says that you're going to have a void that has been filled and just because it's the four of ones doesn't mean that you were even expecting the ten of cups. It wasn't even mean that you were expecting a completion. This is completion in this stage. All right. So 
it's safe to say that the divine masculine is scared of making these moves because he's got so much invested elsewhere. He's got so much invested elsewhere and it's hard to walk away from. Sometimes the divine feminine, I think, you know, may not understand what that's like because he doesn't exactly, you know, or she doesn't exactly see you invested in a whole group of people or in people that, you know, mean a lot to you or he just doesn't see that you know you 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 care too much about turning your back on other people to be with him you know he sees that you're willing to make that sacrifice and so he's saying i'm willing to make that sacrifice we have the temperance card okay i think he like i was saying tells you you know to be patient because there's a lot of work that he has to do there's a lot of um spirituality rejuvenation there is a whole and total entire reboot here it's not a death necessarily but it's a decision it's a decision to want to walk in towards the light it's a decision to want to have success but sometimes i feel like some people can be in denial this could also kind of sort of talk about in denial or denial okay like um the hesitation, insecurities, feeling like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, Gemini Libra Aquarius up in the head about even going out and setting out on this journey. What if I don't have success? What if I end up turning away everybody that's ever loved me, burning my bridges? You know, as I think he's scared of making that decision. He doesn't know whose hands he'll be in. You know, he's only left to follow his fate, you know, his faith. And, you know, he's got to do the work and, and, and become abundant on his own. So it's saying that not only does he have to walk away from treasures of life, from the people he loves and that's been there for him physically there, because that's what the divine wanted for those times since they met. Okay? It's friendships and relationships he's had from the beginning that he's going to have to walk away from in order to recruit another. You, you know? Not only that, it's the work, it's the spirituality. There's a lot that he has to do, but he's telling you that he's doing it and he's being patient with himself. So be patient with him, okay? That's what the divine masculine wants to say is to be patient. He's doing what he's got to do. He knows that he has to walk away. He knows he wants this success, this love, and he wants people to be proud of him. This is someone, because we started off with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I'm just going to go ahead and say a lot of your divine masculines could be an air sign, and they care about what people think, not only because they're a people pleaser, but because they have family, people who love them, people who respect their decisions. They're like definitely an alpha. And right now, they had to step down already. You don't see that. I think he wants you to know that he stepped down in his throne, or as a dad, or as a husband, or as a man to be able to know that look i'm in love with someone that i've been making um seem very lustful very very demonic you know i'm in love with someone and i don't want to shed you know darkness on that anymore and the only way he's going to shed light on it is by walking away from people who may have opinions but really or from people that you know he loves that's eight cups but he had a void there there's something he needs to go and find there's a resentment towards the divine feminine or just towards the love he has towards the divine feminine because he feels like, you know, if it wasn't for this love that he found in you, he wouldn't have to be making any of these decisions and feeling like he's going to be burning people, you know, um, you know, and he's, he's having to really go through the wire. I mean, I don't see a path there. So, you know, he had to go some ways. And so he's already on his way. There's water between between that so I just want to talk about the um the obstacle so this man is already on his way is already on his journey um okay and but then there's still quite a lot to do okay I want to talk about the journey and the path that we see at the end of the spread with the temperance but still having to walk through this gate so I think he's also scared about um and you know introducing you to the family really um bringing you into the family. I think he's scared. He's scared of your future together, okay? At the top of the deck, the star card. But this is a wish fulfillment from the divine for us, for him. You understand? This is a wish fulfillment. Um, I think you are his star. I th he wants to say that you are his wish fulfillment, okay? Let me see specifically what else we have. Ooh, something came out. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's clarify this star card. Why do we need to see the star card for the divine masculine spirit? What do we got? The justice card. So, okay, he could be a Libra or you could be a Libra, okay, divine feminine. But um, he's, he's in this air energy because everything is going to be um, logically explained and... Um, 
done properly. He wants to make sure he does this properly. And this goes definitely in order.